होली मोली आई के नॉट बिलीव एक्चुअली गॉट माई हैंड्स ऑन दिस दोस्तों आज का वीडियो बहुत मजा आने वाला है बिकॉज वी हैव समथिंग रियली ऑसम फ्रॉम एम डी दिस इज लिटरली द वर्ल्ड फास्टेस्ट गेमिंग सी पी यू एज ऑफ नाउ गाइज देर ऑल न्यू राइजन सेवन थाउजेंड सीरीज थ्री डी वी कैस सी पी यू रिमेंबर जस्ट ए कपल ऑफ वीक्स अगो ड्यूरिंग सी एस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एम डी फाइनली अनाउंस लाइक टू ब्रांड न्यू लाइन अपन थाउजेंड सीरीज सी पी यूज वी गॉट टू चेक आउट देयर पावर इफिशियंट सिक्सटी फाइव आउट एडिशन सी पी यूज एंड ऑल्सो द मच अवेटेड सेवन thousand series 3 dv cache tech cpus guys and coming to the 65 watt i have already covered these brand new cpus gave my review and benchmarks as well on the channel in case if you missed that video go watch that link is in the card above and coming to the brand new 3 dv cache tech cpus guys this is what we'll be checking out in this video so people were like eagerly waiting for these cpus to hit the market and guess what these brand new cpus are literally in the house i am like super excited to actually build a pc with that and talk about the benchmarks give my review and also compare it with the competition guys there is a lot you can expect over here and this video is going to be like super interesting so make sure to watch it till the end so first of all let me tell you like what exactly you can expect over here in the 3dv cache tech cpus so as usual guys they are still based on the same am5 platform only zen4 architecture the same tsmc 5 nanometer process only just like your regular 7000 series cpus only thing is na these 3dv cache tech cpus have like ex extended cache memory so let me actually explain what 3dv cache technology is so in this 3dv cache technology large pools of cache memories you know l2 l3 are like stacked on top of the each other inside the cpu and this will give you like a huge performance boost in either apps or games wherever that require like huge amount of cache so this definitely makes like a big improvement guys especially if you talk about gaming that to a 1080p level of gaming see that during the announcement only amd showed almost like 15 to 20% of improved performance guys and you know we'll get to see that in this video like how do they actually perform practically so last year if you remember there was only like one 3dv cache variant of the cpu which was ryzen 7 5800x 3d but now this year amd has actually extended the lineup and not only ryzen 7 you're also getting ryzen 9 with 3dv cache technology this time totally you're getting like three cpus over here and out of all these three today in the house we have the most powerful gaming cpu right now in the market. market from amd which is a ryzen 9 7950x 3d it's literally a 16 core 32 thread monster cpu with huge amount of cache the cache you are getting to see on this particular variant is almost double the size of a non x 3d variant of cpu guys totally l2 plus l3 combined you are getting almost like 144 mb of cache on the ryzen 9 7950x 3d on the ryzen 7 7800x 3d there you are getting almost like 104 mb of cache which is still all Almost like double the amount of cache on the non 3D V variant of the CPU. So before we directly jump into the benchmarks and the gameplays as well, let me quickly tell you about the test bench setup I'll be using for this particular CPU review. The motherboard I'll be using is from ASRock. It's their X670 E Type C edition. Pair that with like 32 GB of DDR5 RAM from XPG. And on the GPU side, I'll be using like a brand new 40 series GPU. Mostly I'll be going for like an RTX 4080 guys. That would be like a perfect setup for the Ryzen 9. and power supply will also be something like a 1000 or 1300 watt power supply and that is pretty much it guys this is a whole test bench setup and obviously we'll be using like an NVMe SSD only so that is pretty much it now without wasting any more time let's jump into the benchmarks Now one thing everybody should note over here is synthetic benchmark apps do not utilize that huge amount of cache available on this CPU. So in fact you might actually see a bit lower scores than the non X3D variant CPUs. 3DV cache mainly shines in gaming sort of workloads and applications. Yet anyways I'm going to run these benchmarks and show you the scores. First up we have Geekbench 5. Over here we got a single core score of 2182 and a multi core score of 22458. Oh wow those are some pretty good numbers single core performance is actually higher than intel's 13th gen i9 13900k 13900k is scored around 2175 with a similar rtx 4080 test bench setup very close course i would say almost neck to neck competition is over here but on paper looks like amd is going to take the prize coming to multi core scores here 7950x 3d got around 22458 which is a tad bit less than 13900k 23600 95 looks like intel is still holding good in its position in the multi core segment 
Now compared to the non-X 3D variant of Ryzen 9 7950X, scores are slightly a bit less, around 2-3% difference was there. Now as I've told you that was expected on the synthetic benchmark apps. Now moving on to the next benchmark which is Cinebench R23. We are seeing good numbers here also but sadly scores are actually below 3900K. We got a single core score of 1940 versus 2270 on the 3900K. Multi-core segment was also pretty much the same. We got a score of around 35,023 versus 38,519 for the 1300K. Cinebench scores were like pretty much on par with the non-X3D variant of the Ryzen 9 as well. Just have a look at these charts, so you'll get an idea. Okay, keeping these synthetic benchmarks aside, now time for the real test guys. Let's play some games and see what the newer gen 3D VCAS CPUs have to offer. Starting off with Spider-Man Miles Morales, we're playing this game at 1080p very high graphics, ray tracing is off, DLSS is off, let's see what the raw potential of the CPU is. Just sit back, relax and hope you enjoy the game. Put it in there, fighting Spider-Man! Come on, robbing someone during the holidays? Oh, oh wow, Muska performance guys, are you people looking at that? Buttery smooth gameplay over here. As you can see on an average at 1080p very high graphics, we were getting around 169 FPS on an average. And just for a reference sake, when we played the same game at 1080p only very high graphics with RTX 4080 on 3900K Intel CPU, there we got an average of around like 161 FPS. So we are seeing almost like 4 to 5% faster performance with this newer 7950X 3D CPU. Switching it to 1440p resolution very high graphics, 7950X 3D got an average of around 132 FPS, while 3900K got around 129 FPS. There's a very close call over here, but at the end of the day, looks like AMD will be taking the prize home. Not just Spider-Man guys, I've also played like a couple of other games as well. We've got GTA 5 running, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Cyberpunk as well, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and here are the results. Just check them out on your screen. So as you can see, in almost all the titles, AMD has a slight edge over Intel. I wouldn't say there's like a whole lot of margin, but roughly Ryzen is around like 5-6% to faster than Intel's 13th Gen i9. But the same thing when you compare it with the non-X3D variant of the Ryzen 9, right? Boy, there's a huge difference. Look at those numbers side by side. We're seeing almost like 14 to 15% of better gaming performance on the 3D VCAS CPU. One more good thing over here is these new 3D VCAS CPUs definitely support one-click overclocking as well. You can easily do that using Ryzen Master Utility. Simply enable PBO, PBO stands for Precision Boost Overdrive. Play around a bit with the settings to squeeze out even more juice from the CPU. But just make sure that you're using a good AIO cooler to keep the thermals in check. Thermal performance are also pretty great over here. I've used like a 360mm AIO from Deepcool and the CPU is mostly running around like 69, 70 degree centigrade. On the overall, definitely some impressive results over here. Kudos to AMD team for their hard work. But at the end of the day now, it all comes down to the price. So AMD has also announced the official pricing for these 3D VCAS CPUs. Ryzen 9 7950X 3D was announced that during the launch it will be around $699 in the US. We still don't know the exact Indian pricing, I'll keep you guys posted on that. But thing is now, it's almost like $110 more than Intel's i9 13900K. So biggest question is, are you willing to pay like extra for that 5% faster performance? I really want to know your thoughts on this guys. Do share your feedback in the comment section down below. So one more thing I forgot to mention, using this brand new CPU, we will be building like a really crazy powerful gaming PC in the next two to three days. I'm sure it's gonna blow your mind guys. So would advise you to highly stay tuned to the channel, subscribe and also hit that notifications bell icon on. And that is pretty much it. Time to wrap it up. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video and got to know everything about AMD's brand new Ryzen CPU. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.